Which city is the holiest city in the world? Jerusalem. Let's travel to the Middle East and check out Jerusalem. This ancient city was established in 3000 BC and is located in current day Israel. Jerusalem is the holiest city in the world because it holds significance to all three monotheistic Abrahamic religions. And since Old Jerusalem is home to all three Abrahamic religions, religious sites often overlap due to history and conquest. Old Jerusalem is divided into four quarters, the Armenian quarter, the Christian quarter, the Muslim quarter, and the Jewish quarter. Whew, I have a few prayer requests. So let's explore starting in the Jewish quarter at the Western Wall. The Western Wall or Wailing Wall is a remnant of the second temple which replaced the first temple built by King Solomon and is the holiest site in Judaism. Prayers are recited here or you can write your prayers and place them in the cracks of the wall. Above the Western Wall is Temple Mount covered by the golden top dome of the rock in the Muslim quarter. Temple Mount is where Abraham almost sacrificed his son and where Prophet Muhammad traditionally ascended into heaven. Now let's take a stroll over to the Christian quarter. Our first stop is known as the Last Supper Room, Cynical or Upper Room, and is situated on the second floor above King David's tomb. Many events transpired in the Last Supper Room. This was like the disciples' den. <laughs> this is where Jesus broke bread with his disciples and washed their feet before his betrayal. This is also the room where Jesus appeared after the resurrection and made his wounds visible to see and touch and returned one more time to help renew doubt in Thomas's faith. And the most important phenomenon occurring in this room was Pentecost. Pentecost is the event where the tongues of fire appeared to them and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues. But before that was Via Dolorosa or Stations of the Cross. There are 14 stations along Via Dolorosa marked as Jesus fulfilled prophecy, starting from the place where he was tried and convicted and ending with his placement in the tomb. The first nine stations wind through the streets of Old Jerusalem starting near the Muslim quarter and highlight such events as Simon taking up the cross for a condemned Christ while wearing his crown of thorns. Close by is the traditional spot where Jesus rested his hand on the wall after Simon gave assistance. And station seven is marked as the station where Jesus fell for the second time. Stations 10 to 14, the final stations of the cross, are located inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Station 10 is in the Holy Sepulchre's courtyard, where Jesus was stripped of his garments. Station 13, the stone of anointing, is the first thing that you see when you walk into the church. This is the location where Jesus' body was anointed and prepared for burial after crucifixion. Station 11 is where Jesus was actually nailed to the cross before the cross was erected on Calvary. Which leads us to station 12, which is the altar of crucifixion, and it sits on the rock of Calvary. Calvary is also called Golgotha, which means skull, and is the location where Jesus, nailed to the cross, yielded his spirit and died. The altar of crucifixion commemorates this moment. Throughout the church, you can actually see parts of the rock behind glass. And finally, we arrive at station 14, the Holy Sepulchre. The Holy Sepulchre is inside the Edical Chapel, and this is the Rotonda. The chapel has two rooms, one holding the angel stone, thought to be a fragment of the large stone that sealed the tomb. The second is the tomb of Jesus. Well, the good news is that the crucified body of Jesus lay in that tomb, but he rose on the third day. He then walked the earth for 40 days, and after ascending to heaven from the Mount of Olives, he sent us a helper to comfort us and told us that he is with us always, even until the end of the world. If you enjoyed this video, place a like on it, subscribe, and share. Safe travels. For all things travel, visit tannylamb.com.